The Independent National Electoral Commission has set aside February 4th to conduct a mock accreditation exercise. The Commission stated that the mock exercise has become necessary as it will be used to test the bimodal voter accreditation system ahead of the February 25th election. As you are already aware, the Commission has taken delivery of the bimodal voter accreditation system machines for the election. We have also dutifully tested each machine in our offices nationwide to ensure its functionality. The next step is to conduct field tests across the country involving actual voters. For this reason, and in readiness for the nationwide deployment, the Commission is conducting a mock accreditation of voters similar to what was done ahead of the HT and Oshun Governorship elections. The mock accreditation will hold on Saturday, 4th February 2023, in 436 polling units nationwide. 12 polling units have been designated in each state of the Federation and four in the Federal Capital Territory. On the equality of the country's 109 senatorial districts, and these polling units have been identified and designated for the mock exercise. The Commission's Chairman Yakubu Mamu said this during a meeting with the 37-member Resident Electoral Commission on Friday at the Commission's headquarters in Abuja. Mamu stated in his address that the machines used for mock accreditation will be reconfigured for the election. While outlining the various arrangements made by the Commission for the forthcoming election, the INEC boss mentioned that the issue of the ongoing distribution of permanent voter cards will be addressed. That movement of materials for the election to various locations nationwide is being concluded. The training of officials will commence shortly. Ongoing consultations with stakeholders will be intensified. Airlifting and delivery of sensitive materials to states of the Federation has gone far. Accreditation of national and international observers and the media is being finalized. Critical service providers in the area of transportation have reassured us of their commitment to efficient logistics for the movement of materials and personnel to various locations, while the security agencies have reaffirmed their readiness for the election. However, the Commission is aware that there are a few issues to be addressed. One of them is the ongoing collection of the permanent voters' cards, the PVCs. The Commission is encouraged by the determination of registered voters nationwide to collect their PVCs and the actual level of collection so far. He promised that all registered voters would receive their PVCs. All registered voters are therefore advised to appear at the designated polling unit for the mock exercise. It will be recalled that the Commission had earlier received the last consignment of bimodal voter accreditation systems machines.